Hi YouTube, this is Mac101 Tutorials and today I'll be showing you how to uh, install Windows 7 onto a virtual machine on your Mac. So first of all what you want is um, a virtual machine by made by Oracle so you just want to Google that and um, install it and then you want your Windows 7 ISO file so you can have Home Premium, Starter or Ultimate or Professional, you know, whatever one you want um, I just got one off a um, torrent website. So, right, first of all, you want to click new, then type in Windows 7, and that should automatically click to what version you've got. Um, also, if you've got 64 bit, you want to click on the 64, but I've got the 32 bit. Um, so, click continue. Now, RAM, I've got 4 uh, gigabytes of RAM. So I'm gonna click two um two gigabytes of RAM, so that's that's half my um memory. And then create virtual disk now, uh click on VDI. Yeah, you know, they were the different file formats you can have, but uh, VDI is the one we want. Um dynamically allocated is um the best one to use because a fixed file takes a long time to create but it is a bit faster to use, but dynamically aside, um, allocated will um, expand when you've um, filled all of that space So, and fixed size uh, won't, you'll have to create a new one, so I prefer to use um, dynamically excised, sized even. I'll click 20 gigabytes, this is just the um, what size you want it to be, so I'll click 20 gigabytes and click create. And this is your um, well, what you're presented with. Now you want to go into settings, um, system, motherboard. Um, you want to untick um, floppy and move it down. Um, click on processor. I've only got two processors. This is a uh, MacBook Pro 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. So I'm only using one, and um, it can use all of that processor. So we'll have. One processor for Mac, one processor for um, Windows. So, in display, right, enable 3D and 2D video acceleration. Um, I've got 256 megabytes of um, video RAM, so I'm going to click it to 125. Should be enough. Um, wrote, wrote display, you should leave that alone. Um, audio, network, right, network, you want to click on bridge adapter. And then click onto Wi-Fi, um, and this will basically, as it says, bridge um, your um, Mac internet or Wi-Fi over to the um, Windows Wi-Fi or Windows um, connection. Click OK, and now you want to click Start, and you want to. It should automatically select your Windows Seven. If it doesn't, um, your ISO, sorry. Um, you want to find it, um, mine is on the desktop, open it up, click start. I can minimise, oh, we're done, capture. That's basically just, it captures your mouse, so um, you can use your mouse in, or um, trackpad in Windows 7. Right, starting Windows. Oh, this will take a while. As you can see it's starting up. It's pretty smooth considering how much um, stuff you've given it. So if you just want to, want to um, minimise this, it actually started. This startup was actually quicker than when I had a. Um, I had it on two cores with a 90% cap. So that just means if it gets above 90%, it will cap off the um, uh, virtual machine. It's actually look. It's pretty smooth for considering how much um, RAM and stuff we've given it. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm just going to pause the video because this does take quite a while to start up. Okay. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, this only took about five minutes, but before um, it took about fifteen. So sorry about that. Um, so you want to click what country? Oh, time, time and currency format. So I'm in the UK, and whatever. Uh, click I set. 
I accept. Right, you want to click on the disk zero unallocated unallocated space. So that's the one we made, and I said it's 20 gigabytes. So that's that. Hit next, and it's just verifying that that's the um, install disk. Right, I'm going to pause this, um, guys, because it does take quite a while. I'm, I'm not joking; it takes about an hour to do this bit, if not half an hour if you've got a quick computer. But this isn't that quick. Oh, well that was quick. I might just leave it like this actually. No, I'm going to pause it. So, once all that's done, you should get with it. You should get a screen that comes up like this. So just starting Windows and Microsoft Corporation. So yeah, let that just start up. It shouldn't take long. A couple of minutes, maybe a minute. Let that start up. There you go. Setup is updating registry settings. So this should take a minute. So all you have to do now, guys, is just wait for it to boot up. And I'm going to pause the video because this does take a while again. The next step is this um, setup is starting services. I don't know what they're all. Oh, I've got a mouse. Alright, here we go. It says completing the installation. If you just scroll down, it should give you the bar that shows you um, how far along you are. And I'm just going to pause this again because it does take a while, unfortunately. So, alright, guys. So once all that's done, you should get the um, starting Windows uh, screen, and that should just boot up. There you go. Uh, setup is preparing your computer for first use. Okay. Just let it get on with it. Check in video performance. Oh yeah. Um, I forgot to tell you that um, because um, it needs uh, Windows Seven needs the full um, uh, two hundred and fifty-six megabytes or your full video card. Um, it, you won't have the um, sort of see-through effects on the um, windows and the um, start menu. It will just be your standard blue colour, which is a bit annoying, but there you go. Mac 101 Tutorial. Okay, we've got that. Computer name. Next. Computer name is not valid. Uh, cannot, cannot contain only numbers. Well, it's not numbers. Mac. Let's just try that. There we go. Uh, type password. Um, oh. uh, password hint required. Um, no, I'll just type in anything. Mac. Next. Uh, use recommended settings. Windows is finalizing your settings. That's good. And as you can see up here, it's using it's actually using quite a lot of my RAM. Uh, it says I'm using 2.5 uh, gigabytes, and I've only got four, so that is actually quite a lot for uh, my computer. Welcome. Right. I won't go into full screen because I'm not sure that the um, video will actually try. Try it. Yeah, it should, it should, yeah, it is recording. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right, preparing your desktop. And this should take a minute or two. Um, oh, yeah, to get into full screen, you press Command and F. And to get out, simply press Command and F again. Um, so that's pretty simple. I don't know why, but you can't press um, escape to get out. I'm not sure why. I guess it's probably because Windows use it. And um, it'll probably think you're using a command in Windows or something like that. So, preparing your desktop. Actually, this should take a, this should take a while, so I'll just pause the, pause the recording. And once the um, 
desktop has set up and there you go you have your Windows 7 um, I mean everything works on it the um, internet works on it it's, you know, it's all good uh, you, obviously you can adjust the screen resolution as um, to fit your screen as you can see it's a bit laggy but um, it's installed okay thanks guys um, thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe